Are you happy with yourself? I'm not. You're not? I'm not. Look at your brother's face. Yep. What did you do? I hit him. You hit him. Did you cocoa butt him in the face? Yes, he did. Really hard. He head butted you in the face. Yes. Keep that on your nose, pinch it, look down. You want to jerk forward, not back. Dude, you play way too rough with your brothers. They're bigger and stronger than you, but they are not invulnerable. Does he have a big S on his chest? Uh huh. He does? He's Superman? What? No. Nope. When you headbutted your brother, that was very, very naughty. And it hurt him. So what do you say to Arthur? Here, let's hop down. You can hop down and give him a hug. Arthur, come here. All right, come and say sorry. Sorry. No, come and give him a hug. And come say sorry. Remember when you hurt yourself? When you stubbed your toe? And it really, really hurt? Do you remember that? Uh-huh. Yeah. And what did we all do when you got hurt? Hmm? Huh? We came and cuddled you and give you love and kisses. Thanks for not clobbering him, buddy. Yeah. You could have drilled him one and you didn't. Because you're a good boy. Back. You tried to hit him back. You know, he's not quite old enough to know exactly what it is to give you a bloody nose. He really doesn't get it. You can defend yourself, but he's not, he's not even four yet. So I don't want you to hit him, okay? If he's five or six years old and he's starting to hit you, do you remember what we did when you were hitting Jason all the time? Uh-huh. Arthur used to come running across the house and you'd hear doo 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 and then he would wind up and then clobber Jason as hard as he could in the gut or wherever. And we told him not to, we'd given him timeouts, we'd given him bum spanks, we'd, we'd showed him that it hurt Jason. And nothing worked. He would just clobber Jason and lay him out on the floor. And really the only thing that made Arthur respect Jason's person and not hit him, I said, Jason, next time he runs across the house and friggin' decks you, don't try and knock him out, but give him a tap. Just hit him. And so for the first like week, he kept on trying to hit Jason, right? And he'd hit Jason and then Jason would give him a little love tap back and then he'd come to me, oh, Jason hit me! Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah, and what did I say? He said, well, Jason, well, if you hit Jason, he can hit you back. Yep, exactly. And you learned what? Don't hit anybody. Don't else. hit people because there's repercussions. Now, some people might say, well, you let your kid hit your kid. And I say, yeah, because in the real world, if you walk up to someone and hit them, they're going to hit you back. All right, let's have a little look. Come on, let's have a peek up there. Okay, well, you'll be pleased to know you've got a booger, but that's it. It seems to be doing okay, it'll dry. Can I tell you a little something, buddy? Mm -hmm. The nose actually bleeds incredibly easy, really easy. There's a whole bunch of veins that end in the end of your nose there, and it's so easy for them to bleed. It's it's really nothing to be worried about at this stage. Please go put on Paw Patrol to Ben and Robert. On what What's that, Captain Intruder? Mom says for Arthur to go put Paw Patrol on Ben and Robert. So there might be some of you at home going, really? You, you let your child hit one of your other children? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think that there's a kind of peace that's only seen on the other side of acts of violence. Now, I don't mean that to glorify violence and say that I like violence, because I don't. I go out of my way to not hit people and to talk to people and to be patient with people. But sometimes when people are pushing and pushing and pushing, that's the only thing they understand. Take the schoolyard bully. When our kids went to Cub Scouts, they were taught to give the bully what they wanted, because it's not worth fighting over. So if you had lunch money and the bully wanted it, you're supposed to give it to them and then go and tell on them. That is literally what they're told. And they're told to walk away if you need to run and go and tell if they're hitting you. I'm sorry, but I'll never tell my kids to do that because once you start running, 
you never stop. Once you turn your back in fear to someone who would be your temporary enemy, then that doesn't end. And you have to look at yourself in the mirror and not feel like, pardon my language, but a complete and total pussy. And if you are denied the right to defend and protect your person against outside assault from anyone and anything, then you've taken away, as far as I'm concerned, a fundamental human right and a human dignity. My kids need to be able to defend themselves, and that means in the house. So, Jason wasn't allowed to wail on his brother, but he would give him a love tap back, just enough so that Arthur knew, ow, that sucked, and I'm gonna think twice about hitting Jason, and it worked. Within a week, we solved a problem that had been going on for months. Because I put the problem, I put the answer in Jason's hands, within reason. It's something to think about, isn't it? However, we won't let Arthur clobber Robert at all. Because he's still too young to grasp and to understand that kind of stuff. So that won't be happening anytime soon. Arthur would have been five when we let him give him a love tap. So that's still two years away. And even then, we won't let Arthur deck Robert. It's a shot in the arm, essentially. And he gets the picture, and then we have peace in the house amongst the kids. And true to this day, Arthur and Jason never fight, ever. Because they've both learned each other's limits, and they respect each other. That's all. Thanks for watching.